Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We have another white paper walkthrough. This is actually going to be a white paper slash actual gameplay walkthrough um, for the millions of Mars. This was actually recommended to me by several subscribers on some of my videos. So I, I, I actually replaced one of the other white papers that I was going to do today with this one because a lot of people are asking about it. So I wanted to go ahead out there and uh, provide this white paper review and gameplay review for you. I've actually reached out to the development team of Million on Mars, and they have agreed um, to do a little giveaway at the end of this uh, video. So I highly recommend that you watch all the way to the end. We're going to be giving away five NFTs uh, at the end of this video that will give you access to the game. Um, so watch to the end and get ready to go ahead and uh, be able to enter that. Um, before we do get started, though, I do have to do my normal disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Entertainment purposes only. So don't take my word for it. Go out, do your own research before you make a decision to go forward with any, any game, any investment, um, yada, yada, yada. You all know the disclaimer that I have to do. So let's go ahead and talk about this. This is Millions on Mars. Basically what this game is, this is uh, a simulation of if we actually went to Mars and started to colonize Mars. Um, you have the ability to claim land, you can produce different items. Uh, it's a pretty neat game overall. It's not just a simple click to earn game. There's actually some strategy that goes along with it. Um, and it, it's got a lot of potential. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, the website itself, uh, you can go to that, and I'll have a link down below. It's milliononmars.io. Uh, it gives you essentially a, an overview of it, and there's two ways to play the game, uh, and we'll cover those in more detail. You can either just get an access pass, go ahead and start scavenging, build up your resources that will give you enough to eventually buy or get a plot of land. Or you can go right to the secondary market or a nefty and purchase uh, a, a plot, a land plot, and then go that way. Um, so there's the, the 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 cheaper version and then the full out. Um, you, the nice thing about this game is it allows you to work your way up, and the entry level is, is not extreme like some games that are out there. Um, so as I mentioned, um, if you go out and you get a access pass pack. Um, it'll allow you to basically access the game and, and uh, start the scavenging side of it. And just so everybody's aware, multi-counting, it will get you banned instantly. Um, I know there's a number of games out there that are, are similar that, that don't necessarily ban it, um, but they discourage it. They, they flat out ban you. And one of the nice things that they do is is you have to get this pass that, that for the access itself. Um, and like I said, there's the development where you can actually get a plot of land, start building buildings on that land, and start producing your own food and valuable resources. And then last but not least, down the road, there will be your chance to get guilds and, and make settlements and make it more of a community event rather than just individual playing. Um, let's go ahead and dive in. This is not necessarily the white papers. They call this the, the player's guide. Um, you get it when you first log in or you get access to it when you first log in. It's a little more detailed than the white paper that's on uh, the, the website. Um, so all you have to do is really log in there and, and get to it. I'm going to do partial review on using this player's guide, uh, mostly because I've been testing out the game for a little bit now. And uh, there's some some steps that you can only do once. Um, and that's the main one is really signing up. When you go to the website and you click on play now, it takes you over to, if this is your first time going through, a registration process. Basically put in your name, email address, and your password. Uh, and then it'll send you an email verification. You go through that whole process. Then it's going to ask you to link up your, your WAX account. And when it links up your WAX account, um, it's pretty straightforward. You'll see this button here. You click on that. You can either do WAX or Anchor. Um, I think most people on this watching this video will go ahead and do WAX. 
And then you, once it does that, it checks your WAX account for what's called an access pass. And the access pass, you can either get on a Nefty for about $10, um, or you can get on the secondary market for whatever the going rate is. Um, or you could wait till the end of this video and find out how you can win one, one of five as part of the giveaway. Again, we're giving away five of these. So check out the end of the video for a chance to get that. Um, when you get this pack, you're only, you can only really open one per, per WAX account. So you, you can have as many packs as you want. Uh, you can only have one access badge. So if you get two access packs, you open one, you'll get the badge. Try and open another one, uh, it won't do anything. You won't get a second badge. So you can't really sell the badges, but you can sell the packs. That's why they come in the packs themselves. So if you do buy it off the secondary market or however you buy it, when you first log in, make sure you unpack that pack. Um, I tried to do tried to do it without unpacking it, not realizing it. Uh, and it kept saying it wasn't there. So I got a little confused, but then realized I needed to unpack it. So that was a mistake I made. I wanted to communicate to you all. Um, jumping down through here, uh, there's basically it's giving you, and I'll, I'll walk through. This is where I'm going to actually jump over to the game itself. Um, as I mentioned, you press play. It's going to take you, this is your start screen. There's a number of actions. I currently don't have a plot of land. So I'm going to show you the, the approach where you're going to scavenge, show you the different things that you can do. Um, and then you can go ahead and get started and make a decision uh, whether you want to go through it yourself. First, thing, first things first, when you first get into the game, you have the toolbar up here. You have a, you'll get some, some water and food by default, and you'll get some stamina by default. And I think you start with 20 dusk which is the, the the token in game so what you're going to use this is used to buy things you can withdraw it every 14 days uh, and trade it on the alcor market for wax if that's what you choose to do um, stamina is for different actions throughout the game from scavenging to doing jobs and we'll get into that here shortly there's an actions button here that takes whether it's the coin that you have or the food and water and converts it to other things for example, you only get a certain amount of stamina before you need to replenish it. Uh, every single day, you will get a food ration or an eat ration, as they call it, which will allow you to boost your stamina up again. So it's not like you just once you run out, you're done, done. You just have to wait 24 hours for it to to give you your, your rations or you can buy it in the marketplace, which we'll get to here in a minute. Uh, and then you also have the food and water. Um, right here, which if you combine these and do the action, it'll give you a certain amount of stamina plus waste. Waste you can either use um, if you had a plot of land or you can sell it. And then there's other activities too here. Going down here, you have a chance to get deeds and so forth. I'm not gonna dive too much into these down here um, because I think they're later down the road items. Um, then we go over on the left side here, you have, we'll start from the right to the left. You have your inventory, if you click on that, it takes you here. It shows you different items that, that you have uh, either scavenged or you've received, for example, your daily rations will be here. You get one of those every day, um, shows your stamina. Um, this right here is your scavenger tool. Um, this replenishes, you get 10, 10 every day. Um, once you run out of that, you're done, unless you have a plot of land to replenish uh, your, your cells, um, which will allow you to do more scavenging down the road. Um, so these are this is the, the inventory that you have. You, if you also have a plot of land, uh, that'll show down here, which you see I don't have any right now. Um, you have the, the shop where you can go out and use your tokens and different items to purchase. Um, I'm not gonna dive into that because I think this is a later stage in the game. Also, I wanna focus this video on the beginner side of it marketplace when you scavenge you get different items as i showed you in the inventory you can go here and sell and i'll show you that here in a second um, they also have jobs that you can go out and do and this costs stamina and takes time but you get dusk as a reward now let's go ahead and try it's, it's i find it very hard to actually get uh, a job i've tried this for about like 10 minutes straight and you see it takes takes a good amount of time and by the time it processes, the, the, the jobs are already gone. You see this failed. Let's try again. 
I've tried maybe about a hundred times uh, and I've only been able to get contracted for one job. See, I'm, as, as I'm talking here, I'm failing, they're, they're disappearing. Um, so it's rather hard to actually get a job assigned. But once you actually do, uh, it goes over here and you see it takes a certain amount of time to complete. This was a 20 hour t task. Once it's completed, I get two coins, two dust coins. And I believe you can run uh, multiple jobs over. It only costs stamina. Um, so if you're able to get, if you're quick enough and you're able to get that through the, the process, um, you can go ahead and uh, get different jobs that will run in parallel and m more of a passive thing. Um, let's go ahead to uh, scavenging. This is the thing that you'll do pro the most uh, when you start. When you click on this button here, it brings up the Mars, the planet, and you can pick any of the different sections. And once you do that, I'll ask you to check it out. And then you'll see little areas in here if you click on that. Uh, sometimes it'll be multiple areas. This this area just happened to be one. Once you click on that, this comes up here. And if you look at this, anything that has red has already been uh, claimed. And you can see this person has some, some equipment on here um, that they're using this land for. Um, it looks like these these plots of land are actually, at least these two, are owned by the same same people. Uh, if you look here where it's uh, more of a tan, these are this is unclaimed land. So it's basically if you want if you were able to go out and you had a deed, you could go out and claim one of the plots of land that are like this. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and build your equipment on there. So eventually it'll look like something like this where you're actually producing your own products and to keep you stable. If you want to be self-sufficient and not waiting on the daily rations or not going out to the market and buying, you want to get a plot of land and you want to start building on that to build it up. Um, and that's my goal down the road is to, to show you that process. So I won't dive into that now. Um, when scavenging, you go ahead and you pick a plot of land. It can either be uh, an unclaimed land or it can be a claimed land. Um, once you're, you've selected that, you go ahead down to the corner here and you click on that. When I click on this, watch the corner down here because it's going to show you what what I've earned uh, when I do when I do the scavenging. See down here you get these, you get ice and this other item, and it costs every time you scavenge it costs one stamina. So you go ahead and do it again. There's a, a basically a three or four second lead time between scavenging. And you just keep doing that. If that's what you choose to do, you can pick different plots of land. Let me show you something that's already claimed. You can go ahead and scavenge that too. I'm just going to do a bunch of spots here because then I'm going to go over and uh, show you how to sell items. All right, so we got a lot of ice. Ice actually sells pretty well. Um, the reason it sells pretty well is because you can you can uh, get a bunch. Ooh, there we go. We got a bunch on that one. We're gonna go ahead and scavenge that again, see if I get lucky again. And there we went, we've used all my stamina. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my, my daily rations. So I'm gonna go to actions, eat rations. So go ahead and click on that. Yes, I wanna do my daily rations and you'll see I get four waste and I get 14 stamina. You have the chance of getting six to 14 stamina. I got lucky and got a full batch. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to scavenge until there it is until my tool is out of power which if i go over to my inventory you'll see i got a whole bunch of stuff and my tool it says i have two uh, i never quite understood that um I sh so i should be able to do two more but for some reason it says that i'm out let me go ahead i'm going to test it out here I'll show you a different plot all right see now there's three options in this area i'm just going to select on one of them I'm assuming it's going to give me the error saying that I have no power, but we'll, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Yep, it says I have no power. All right, now that I have some items to sell, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this uh, reg, reg off. Um, so let's, and I'm going to sell the waste. So let's go over to the market, which is this one right here. And let's go, oops, five, oh, I was right. You can search it, 
and you can sell it. And this shows you the market average. And then I have 58 items, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell all 58. You click confirm and it takes it over into the orders. This is the one I just submitted. This is one that I submitted, pre I submitted yesterday. I wanted to keep it out there so I could show you me actually claiming. So if you go ahead and press the claim button, you'll see that my, my dusk uh, increases. It shows you I claim 2.633, and there you go. It shows you that. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's simple, it's, it's a low entry point um, if you're just doing the scavenging to allow you to build up to go ahead out there and buy a plot of land. You can jump right in the plot of land if you have the additional wax to jump in there, which I will do here in the near future. Um, all right, so now to the giveaway time. We are giving away five of the entry passes. Well, I should say it's going to be a pack, five packs. Um, to allow you, I'm just seeing if there's one here, um, to allow you to go ahead and access the game and, and do start scavenging what I just let you know that you can do. In order to enter the giveaway, go ahead and you must be a subscriber, so make sure that you're subscribed. And then go ahead and make a comment down below and hashtag million on Mars. I'll go ahead and in and, and the details below, make sure you confirm that that hashtag has to be in there in order to be eligible. So you need to be a subscriber and you need to have that hashtag in there. In 48 hours from now, we will go ahead and uh, select the giveaways. And I will reach out to you uh, in the comments if you are eligible to get your WAX address. So we can go ahead and um, send over that, that pass so you can try out the game. So 48 hours, subscribe, hashtag uh, million on Mars and then go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you all. I hope you have a great day.